Good evening and welcome to Swanson Churchill High School Mathematics. My name is Gus Yanutos and I will be taking you on a quick overview of our mathematics department. Coming out of Math 9, we offer four courses that a student can take in mathematics. So Mathematics 10 or Math 10 Common is for students that are recommended by their teachers and display excellent math skills. Math 10-3 is again uh, going off of teacher recommendations and they are, this is specifically for students who are not that successful in Math 9. We also offer Math 15 and that again is by recommendation of a teacher and it is for students who found Math uh, 9 challenging and wish to strengthen their basic math skills in order to attempt Math 10 Common. We also offer the IB program here at Churchill and so if you would like to be an IB uh, candidate, so looking to go into the IP program, we ask that you register in Math 10 candidate in the first semester and Math 20-1 IB in the second semester. The Math 10 candidate course is built for students who are looking to go into the IB program and so it is an advanced mathematical topics at the 10 level and out of Math 10 candidate you will apply to go into the IB program and if you are successful, you will then move into Math 20-1 IB into the second semester. If you have taken Math 10 Common previously at a different school and do wish to look into the, to go into the IB program, we do still suggest that you take the Math 10 Candidate course. However, we do offer a challenge exam. You would need to contact the IB coordinator and let them know that you have taken Math 10 Common and you wish to challenge the Math 10 Candidate course. A, an exam date will be given to you at the start of the school year and you must exceed, achieve a uh, standard of excellence on that challenge exam in order to skip the Math 10 candidate and move straight into Math 20-1 IB in the second semester. And again, just to reiterate, uh, this is only for students who have taken Math 10 Common previously. I would like to now to go through the flow chart of uh, high school mathematics with you. Coming out of Math 9, as I said, you can take Math 10 Common, Math 15 Competencies, or Math 10-3 according to your teacher recommendation. Uh, we'll look at the IB uh, flowchart here in a moment. Uh, coming out of Math 10 Common gives you several options. You can go to 20-1, 20-2, or 20-3. If you are in the 20-1 program, that is the pre-calculus, uh, which leads to 30-1, which then leads into Math 31, which is the calculus course. If you uh, choose to go Math 20-2, that is foundations, and moves to 20-2 and then 30-2. And if you're moving through the 10-3 program, you can go to 10-3, 20-3, and 30-3. In order to graduate from high school, you only need a 20 level uh, math course. And so completing either 20-1, 20-2, or 20-3 will be enough to graduate from high school. If you're looking at the IB program, once again, uh, as I stated, you should register and take Math 10 Candidate in the first semester of grade 10. If at the end of grade 10, you will apply to get into the IB program. And if you are successful, you will move into Math 20-1 IB in the second semester of grade 10. About midway through 20-1 IB, you will have the choice to move either to a standard level or the higher level mathematics. It's about a 70% crossover of material there. So in grade 11, in both the standard level and the higher level, you will complete Math 30-1 and write the Alberta Diploma exam there. You'll also complete Math 31 IB, which is the calculus portion. If you're in the standard level, you will write your IB exams in May of grade 11 and be done with math. And so there is no math in grade 12 for students who take standard level, but not to worry, you will not forget your math going into university. If you do do the higher level, you will move uh, out of grade 11 and into Math 35 IB, which is many advanced topics in mathematics. And you will write your IB exam in your grade 12 year in May. At the high school level, you do require a graphing display calculator if you're in the Dash 1 or Dash 2 streams. I've got the list here. There are several brands, Casio, Sharp, and Texas Instruments. We suggest that you do use the Texas Instruments ones, the TI-83+, 84+, or TI-Inspire. Uh, this list can also be found if you do a quick Google search, Alberta Education Approved Calculator List. 
The, tenth, the dash three stream does not require a graphing display calculator, as scientific calculators will, will do. And thank you for joining us here this evening. I hope answers some of your questions. Uh, please stay safe and we look forward to seeing you all in September. Thank you and take care.